Hi, what is EFT? EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. It's also known as tapping. Emotional Freedom Technique is a mix between the ancient and the modern. The ancient is the using of acupressure points and the modern is the modern day psychology where language and the tapping on the acupressure points link together. What does it do? It dissolves negatives. EFT digests and digested emotions. So if you can think back to all the times that stuff has been going on, whether it's bad news in your life, somebody's been very ill, or there's been really some difficult things going on, and you go to work, or you go to school, or you meet somebody in the street, and they say, oh, hi, how are you doing? And you say that word that I just, um, it, it brings a reaction up in me when I hear it, but you'll say, oh, I'm fine. But actually, you're not fine at all. Underneath, there's a lot still going on. So tapping gets rid of the stuff that is underneath. And it can be stuff that's been there a very long time. How does it work? Well, we actually literally tap on acupressure points and that releases blocked emotion. That is really the best way to describe it. Um, we start with a setup statement. In fact, before that, I should say that we, we usually focus on what the negative is. What is it that is really bothering us at that time? Now, it's tricky when I'm making a video like this because there's no interaction. So I have no idea of what's going on in your life right now. But what we would do is we would start just talking generally and finding out really what is the, the burning issue that is really causing concern for you or it's blocking you from doing something. It's, it's um, affecting a relationship of some sort. And then I would ask you to think zero to 10, how are you feeling about it in that moment? Not how you felt yesterday when you'd an argument with somebody about it, but actually in this moment right now, and you would record zero, it would be chilled, no problem, everything's okay. 10 would be, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do next. That's, we hope that you're not at that level. And if you are at that level, please call somebody, speak to somebody, um, contact me. I don't want people up at that 10 or beyond. Um, usually people will be somewhere in the middle on a great spectrum. We do go as high as 10, but when I'm not face to face with you, just don't go there. Don't go to the most significant thing that's going on in your life. Go to something that's kind of general. Um, so we, we say zero to 10, where are you? And it's funny how a number will just pop into your brain. The whole way through EFT, go with your gut instinct. When I ask you then, what is it that makes you a six, a seven, a five, an eight, whatever it is, whatever that first word is, that first emotion, go with that. Don't think too much. We want to come out of the head and we want to come into the body. So we're, we're going to have a go. This is perhaps your first time with EFT. So that's what we're going to tap on. We're going to tap on how do you feel about doing a session of EFT, not completely knowing what it's all about. So just take a moment, think about it for a sec. I'm about to tap. Julian is rabbiting on about EFT. I'm not quite sure if I'm into this or not. Where am I? Zero to 10. Zero. I've tapped before and actually I know it works. I'm happy to do this and I will go along with what she's saying. 10 is I, I do not want to do this, but I'll give it a go. So let's start. You've got your number and you're going to find the karate chop point and you're just going to start tapping there and you will start with a set setup statement even though even 
even though I'm going to go with the skeptics, okay? So even though I'm skeptical about this, I love and accept myself. Even though, and if you're, if it's not skeptical that it's the worst, you put in your own word. Even though I'm skeptical about this EFT, I love and accept myself. Even though I'm skeptical, can't see how this works. I love and accept myself. So we say that three times. Then we go up to the crown and kind of summarize what we're, we're doing. So skeptical. And then down to the top of the nose where the eyebrow meets, tap there with two fingers and then you'll get the point. Not sure this is gonna work. And then move out to the temple, the sort of the soft part. I am skeptical. And then underneath the eye, how can this work? And then underneath the nose, don't think it's going to make a difference. And then underneath the lip, I'm skeptical. And then find the collarbone and kind of tap across the collar, collarbone with your whole hand really and that will get the point. I'm skeptical. I've not done this before and it seems a bit strange. Say what you want, say what you're feeling right now. And then you lift up your arm and tap underneath the arm and for those of you who wear a bra, just tap there. For those of you who don't wear a bra, just a few inches underneath the armpit. I'm skeptical. And then just breathe out. A nice blow out all that eh, skeptical, the skeptical feelings. Now, what I want you to do is just check in how you're feeling. If you were at seven, feeling skeptical, where are you right now? And just go with that gut. Allow your gut to dictate this time. So you might be still at seven. So what's keeping you at seven? What is it? You might have gone up a bit, so why? And again, you might have gone down. So if you've, let's say you've gone down to from seven to five, let's see. What makes a five compared to a three? What is it? So just take a moment, think about that. I know. I'm going to do another round, but I want you to put in why you're still where you are, okay? I'll leave a wee bit of a gap so that you can follow me. Even though I have the scientific mind, I love and accept myself. Even though it's my scientific mind, I can't see how this is going to work. I love and accept myself. Even though it's my scientific mind, I am skeptical. I love and accept myself. We'll do it one more time. Even though it's my scientific mind, I love and accept myself. So it could be a number of reasons, but as we're going with the skeptical side, I thought we would go down that path this time. So up here, scientific mind, down here, I need explanations. Out to the side, I need evidence. Underneath the eye, I'm skeptical. I'm still skeptical. Underneath your nose, it's my scientific mind. Underneath here, it just sounds a bit wishy-washy. Over to the side, it's my scientific mind. And then underneath here, is it proven? And breathe all that out. Now just check in again. Where are you at? Has your number gone a bit lower? Has it stayed the same? 
And this process goes on and on as we generally, we peel and peel away um, the different emotions and feelings that come up through the whole session. For your information, there is evidence, there is scientific um, reports and there, there are published reports. So there, there is a scientific um, base out there um, for the sceptics amongst you. You're still allowed to be sceptical and that's why it's really best to actually try EFT. So that's a sort of a very quick introduction. If you want more information or if you want me to add to this in any way, then just please message, get in contact, and I would be happy to answer any questions at all um, for the EFT. So thank you for watching. Go away and try some tapping on your own. Pick a few things that happen just day to day, sort of minor irritations and, uh, and see what happens and get back to me. Okay, thank you.